How's it going everyone? JKXVX here. We're back on Forza Horizon 5 again today with another live stream update video. Just finished watching the episode 5 of the Forza Horizon 5 um, live stream update and we've got a bunch of information to show and tell you all. The map has been revealed, the 2020 Supra has been shown and a lot more biome gameplay as well. As always guys, if this video does help you out, please do consider subscribing to the channel, it helps out massively. And also, I want to plug my Instagram for once, go and follow me on Instagram. Anyway, I'm sure all of you are most excited to see the map of Forza Horizon 5. Well, here it is. This is the entire Mexico map of Fort 2005, specifically, that's the word I was looking for, in summer, which is one of the best seasons in my opinion. The map looks massive. I mean, you can see the volcano, you can see the twisty roads, you can see the highway all across the middle. It's just brilliant. I'm going to zoom into a few different places while I'm talking just so you can see a bit more in detail because the map's so big you can't really tell the details while it's zoomed out. But it certainly does look very, very good. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below if you spot anything on this map that seems out of the ordinary, something we've not been told about before. There's certainly a few things I've seen. Um, but yeah, just have a look at this map carefully and see if you spot anything. But yeah, this is the map for Fort 2005. I'm not disappointed in any way. I'm very happy with it. There's some kind of drag strip as well down in the middle somewhere. Um, you know, it's everything we could have asked for, really. No complaints. Now, the 2020 Supra has been revealed for being in Fort 2005. And my God, does it look awesome. On screen, I'm going to show you the, the little reveal they did, which is very cool, and then a bit of gameplay afterwards. Now, the gameplay afterwards actually contains new biome gameplay as well. It's going to be quite long, but obviously it's new gameplay, so why not watch it? And I'm going to sort of cut it down into little highlight sections. Now, I may do a video later on with the raw footage of just the sounds and stuff like that. For now, here is the 2020 Supra reveal. So we know a few of you have been complaining that we haven't really shown any new cars for a while on any of the live streams. Oh, we've all seen the M Sport Fiesta before. Everyone's seen a 911. And, you know, we thought, fair point. We haven't actually shown any new cars since E3. And then we were thinking, if we're going to show a new car, we might as well do it with a little bit of flair. Go on, Chris. The 2020 Toyota Supra GR is coming to Forza Horizon 5 on day one. Chris, should you go check it out in game? So, may as well have a look at it in uh, Forza Vista. Absolutely beautiful. There she is. It's a car that, from Toyota, is built to be upgraded. Yes. Uh, so... Which segues on beautifully, it doesn't does. it? <laughs> yeah. should we, should Maybe we, we should, should we, do that now. Take a look at some of the upgrades. Yep. So, uh, we all have a body kit or two. So, if we've got the fantastic Toyota Heritage kit. Yet. This is one of my favorite parts of it. The rear bumper changes the tail lights oh, to wow. be like the, uh, uh, well, the Mark V Supra. Got to have the wide body kit. <laughs> oh, you got to. <laughs> so no decal here. We're, uh, uh, this is a dev build, but this is a HKS wide body kit. And uh, it's lacking something on the back, I think, isn't it? It is. It's just a little understated almost. <laughs> I think, yeah. There we go. Is that wing There we enough? go. I think I, that wing's That enough, might just do. <laughs> And I think uh, we also need some wheels to go with this as well, don't we? So let's jump in and put some wheels on it. Uh, one of the really cool things about the Supra is that this will be one of the cars that is given to every player right at the start of the game. And it'll come delivered with that uh, Toyota Heritage yeah. kit as well. In it. So yeah, it's, uh, everyone gets this right at the start of the game. It... Awesome stuff. And those upgrades, my God, those upgrades look amazingly fun. Now, onto the biome gameplay now, which includes the 2020 Supra gameplay. This map looks amazing. Should we take it for a spin, Chris, in your heavily modified Supra? In its natural environment on the beach. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So how do you actually go about making this area for the game then? What are the fundamental um, elements of the rocky coast? So if, we, if you want to go left here, actually, Chris, um, we can go past some more rocks up close. Um, so <laughs> we, we basically just we work out how we want to make it drivable, where we want uh -huh. the car to go, and what's, what's most fun for the player to explore. And then that's, that gave us our rocky coast. It wasn't as easy as that. Uh, <laughs> So much, Simplified it a bit. <laughs> there were some geniuses behind the scenes pulling it all together. <laughs> some of the cool features, which are a little bit further up from the coast over there, are like hotels, golf clubs. It's like a really like a pristine, like yeah. beautiful holiday location. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're actually uh, it's actually an autumn season, which is our stormy season. We're uh -huh. at a nice uh, foggy, atmospheric morning. Um, 
And I think it, the lighting's quite cool because it kind of helps show off just how soft that sand is. We've, it does. It looks really, really fine. You can really go in there and, you know, deform around in it and kick yeah. up loads of sand. You can already get a sneak peek yeah. of it on the mini-map. If you resist the urge to jump off the edge, we can, we can just, just go to the very edge and then just peek over at the Baja circuit. Oh, um, look at that. <laughs> no, just just look over the edge. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that, that, that's looks that is fun. A, there's some really great routes around that, in and around it as well. Mm -hmm. um, so what's this then? What is li the living desert for those people who might not be familiar with that term? So this is based on the Baja California desert. Um, it is it's kind of contrary to what most people think of a desert in that it's there is sand but there's an absolute ton of foliage and you could see them coming as well when we went through like the sand desert and we were yeah. coming up to Liz the li i said lizard desert <laughs> lizard i'm sure lizards live there <laughs> anyway the living desert you could just see it approaching because suddenly like it just got thicker mm. with with all the foliage going on look at that so this is actually yeah chris if you stop and we just sort of pan around um you can see all the, the detail that's gone into the roads this game mm. um, <laughs> 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 they say no, keep Hooligan going. driver tires. <laughs> um, so th there's actually a seasonal river here because this is a riverbed that uh, in autumn floods because it's uh, it's the stormy season. But um, yeah, like all all that detail in the roads really cool. Oh, um, cracks. So uh, two weeks ago, uh, we looked at the Emerald Circuit, which mm -hmm. was an asphalt route, and it was part of the Apex Horizon Apex Festival. We can see there as we go under the race gantry. This is part of the Horizon Wilds Festival, which is a festival that's dedicated to dirt racing, off-road racing, all that like really loose surface racing. Like fun which is, stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's so much fun when you're in an awesome rally car like mm -hmm. the, uh, the Evo here. Moola um, is in, in a part of the Living Desert that's it's really hilly. Um, I was, yeah, I was actually so going to ask where this is based and what we're looking at. So it's actually in, it's like the southern part of the, of the Living Desert. So okay. it, the terrain gets more hilly, um, it's less rocky, um, and it's actually a big river that connects to the ocean. So mm -hmm. there's, um, there's like, a, like a massive oasis at the bottom of it, I guess you'd call wow. it that, um, which is just full of palm trees. And, um, and that, that, that blends out into that jungle vista you can see there. And that is all of the gameplay that we were given, or at least the highlights of the gameplay. I might upload the raw gameplay later on, so keep an eye out for that. Now, as usual, at the end of every stream, there was a little Q&A section where they answered some questions, and I'm going to touch on them questions now. There's only a few. Someone asked if there's a train on the map. Anybody who saw the sort of trailer reveal, there is a train. It lives in the canyons, and it's one of the coolest trains they've done yet. Another question people asked was, how many festivals is there scattered around the map? Apparently, there are six, which is a lot more than I thought there'd be. Well, that's pretty cool to know. Someone asked if there's going to be civilian traffic, not other driver tires, but civilian traffic. Yes is the answer, there's still civilian traffic. And someone else asked if sim damage still exists in the game as an assist option, and yes, sim damage, you can turn that on if you want. Now, this was all of the questions that they asked. Not many, but better than nothing. That is everything you need to know from the Update 5 live stream that's just been done. Make sure, guys, to subscribe to the channel if you want to be updated on all Forza Horizon 5 information and gameplay. I'm your man. And let me know in the comment section below what you're looking forward to most from this update. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. Sorry, Forza Horizon 5 content. I'll see you all later.